Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Allagash Brewing. Uh, these guys are out of Portland, Maine. Uh, these guys do some really tasty stuff. Uh, I have had them. I hadn't had any in a, in a while. Uh, my, my brother Rico purchased this while he was down here. He bought it from Martin and the guys out there at the and left it for me to review. So, uh, uh, he left some notes on it too actually. After he bought it, he wrote this down. Allagash Hoppy Table Beer is what this is. Uh, this is a 4.8 percenter. Yeah, and they may have done it before because Rape Beer has it at 4.9 percent. Uh, they don't have the IVs listed, and neither does Untapped or Beer Advocate. So nobody has the IVs, and it's not on the bottom. Uh, he says. Uh, 4.8 Belgian Pale Ale Hop with Chinook, Cascade, Comet, uh, Azica, and then Dry Hop with more Comet and Azica. Uh, so, I mean, this is a session beer, if you will, a hoppy session ale. And, and Beer Advocate has it listed as a Belgian Pale Ale. So, uh, and they also have it at 4.8% on, uh, on Beer Advocate, so they got it right. Untapped has it at 4.8, but Rate Beer has it at 4.9%. So they may have done it before, guys. I've never had this beer before from them. So we're going to get on with this one. Uh, commercial description here says, While Hoppy Table Beer was inspired by the Belgian tradition of low ABV, easy drinkable beers, it still occupies a hop forward spot of its own. Brewed with our two row malt blend, Maris Otter Malt, and oats, the beer is then spiced with subtle up additions of coriander. We ferment it with our house yeast for a Belgian, a classic Belgian citrus aroma. Hoppy table beer is hopped with Chinook, Cascade, Common, and Azica hops, then dry hop with more of uh, the Common and Azica, a mildly hop aroma full of grapefruit. Springs from the straw-colored, light-bodied ale. Flavors of pine and stone fruit balance the beer's clean, light, slightly bitter finish. So, something you could have with dinner. Uh, or something you could drink and, and not get too much of a buzz if you're working outside and want to go back to doing what you're doing and not have your head spinning around. This would be a good one, which is less than 5%. So it should be very easy drinking. And I expect it to be a very light, crisp, Belgian-style ale. So that's all we need to talk about. So let me get the cap off of this. And, and I will tell you why I'm doing that. Food pairing, cuisine is Thai. Cheeses are your tangy brick Adam feta. And it says here the meat is fish. Glass for our snifter tulip oversized wine glass. I got my favorite snifter, the Sauvin beer glass, and it looks like it's fairly carbonated. So I'm going to ease up on this pour on here. And not recommended for extended celery such as a low ABV beer. Plus it's a hoppy beer on top of that. So you want to drink these hoppy beers pretty fresh. And on top of that, like I said, it's less than 5%. You wouldn't want to sell this for a long time either, whether it was hoppy or not. Uh, about two fingers of head on that poor guys and it has a slight chill haze and it has a lot of bubbles trimming up very carbonated very very carbonated so let's get a nose to it Belgian yeast standing out coriander hints of grapefruit and citrusiness maybe some hints of some lemon in there lemon peel Smells pretty decent. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. The 
very clean, very crisp, no alcohol at all. Definitely giving me coriander. I'm getting uh, uh, lemon. And hints of grapefruit there, guys. Coriander standing out big time. Very clean, though. Very crisp, very easy drinking, very sessionable, if you will. A nice first beer of the uh, of the day for me. So uh, it's right out of the fridge. Uh, so let's uh, let's let it warm up just a hair and let her have a taste two or three, and we'll come back and see where this one ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. It it, is, it does have a nice citrusy. Grapefruity taste. Someone considered a West Coast style or a New England style or anything, but it does have a, a decent hop presence. It's not over the top, uh, as far as I'm concerned, in the hops, but it it, it is tasty. I, I will say that it does have a uh, uh, a strong citrusy Belgian lemony taste to me. So uh, decent beer, uh, a good like I call it a good table beer, something to have. That's uh, fairly light. That will go with just about anything. And very sessionable. Final chug. A very nice light Belgian ale. I mean it's uh, very crisp. Alcohol is well hidden. Decent beer guys. Uh, to me, uh, I think it is an A beer for a, a, a low ABV Belgian ale. I'm going to give it to eight, the uh, A minus, the uh, 8 in the scale. Numeric rating for me would be a 90. Uh, uh, it does have the date on it. I don't know where he's seen it at, but he's seen it somewhere and wrote it on my paper, so it's got a date on it somewhere. Yep, right here it is. Bottled on 12, 14, 16 in the little blue box here above the uh, barcode so uh, and it's got the bottled on date on top of that not a use by best by joy by whatever by uh, so thumbs up to those guys for doing that and it does have the ABV written on here would like to see the IBUs but two out of three ain't too awful bad I don't guess so uh, piece of beer guys uh, especially for, uh, a lot of taste for 4.9 percent so over to beer advocate beer advocate has it at 89 uh, I'm at 90, and we're pretty damn close right there. And over to Ray Beer, they have it at 95, overall 99 in the style. So those guys are giving us some really, they're up to the 9 category. So, and, and if you say, oh man, that's a 9, I wouldn't argue with that. It's very enjoyable. And for our final check in, we'll go over to Untapped, and they have it at 3.8, which is right at their B plus A uh, minus rating, too. So everybody thinks this is a pretty tasty beer, guys. Uh, got some good grades from everybody. Uh, <clears throat> I do wish they would put the IBUs on there. To me, it tastes like it's uh, 50 or less. Uh, so, uh, very easy drinking, not bitter at all. So, with that being said, if you've had this one from Allagash Brewing, this is their Hoppy Table Beer. Let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow and let's take something out of that bridge. See you then.